In other news tonight, a West Sacramento man, a West Sacramento man is facing new child pornography charges. 57-year-old David Smith was arrested last week, accused of taking pictures of kids at a park. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Memorial Park with the new developments in this case. Macy? Well, Sam and Christina, it was right here that parents say they saw him taking pictures of their children. He was arrested, released on bail, and then arrested again, and now he faces additional charges. The fact of, of living in a city is that, you know, there's, there are going to be perverts out there who do perverted stuff. It started on a Saturday afternoon at Memorial Park as parents were watching the kids play Little League baseball. They noticed a man taking pictures on his phone, confronted him, and took his phone away. When police arrived at the park, parents handed over the phone and officers arrested David Vaughn Smith for possession of child pornography. But after posting bail, Smith was out on the streets once again. I am not crazy about about you know creeps like that being able to get back out and keep doing what they they do. Two days later, West Sacramento PD got a warrant to search his home, and then the next day they arrested him again. Parents in the area now fuming on social media, wondering how someone could be released from jail when facing such a serious charge. We talked to former United States Attorney McGregor Scott to find out, and he says it's up to the jail to set bail. I think it's as simple as that. Uh, every county has a bail schedule, and each crime has a set out amount. In Yolo County, the presumptive bail for possession of child pornography is $250,000. And if a person can post that bail, they're legally entitled to be released. On top of the two possession charges, Smith now faces an additional charge for committing the second felony while out on bail. The concept is that if someone's already been arrested, already been incarcerated, and has been released essentially on a promise of good conduct on bail or OR, and then turns around and commits a new crime, that there should be additional punishment for that. And Scott says judges are able to increase or decrease bail, but typically that only happens in cases of murder or sexual assault. All right, Macy, thanks very much. Live for us tonight in West Sacramento.